I can't fix it. <laughs> and I'm sorry. At a parole hearing last year, Centoya Brown was begging for mercy. Today, after learning she won't have to spend the rest of her life in prison, speaking on a call with supporters. Thank you, Governor Haslam, uh, for being a man of God and for showing mercy. A stunning turn in a case so shocking it inspired a documentary. I just grabbed the gun and I shot him. Brown admitted killing Johnny Allen when she was 16, claiming she was forced into prostitution and shot him in self-defense. Prosecutors called her a cold-blooded killer and thief. They say her claim of being a victim of human trafficking was a lie. The sentence, life in prison, no chance for parole for some 50 years. Today, Governor Bill Haslam called her punishment too harsh and granted Brown full clemency, citing her extraordinary steps at rehabilitation, earning a college degree, and mentoring young offenders. Brown's attorney spoke exclusively with NBC News. So I hugged her and whispered in her ear, you're going to get out in August. When you whispered that in her ear, what did she say? She did a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> I think she is going to be able to help hundreds if not thousands of young people. I think that this, this also gives a tremendous amount of hope to people who are still in prison. On social media, thanks from A-listers who called for Brown's freedom and an outpouring of gratitude from a young woman soon to be set free. Ron Allen, NBC News, Nashville. And I'll sit down with one of the first prisoners released under the new criminal justice reform law. That's tomorrow on Nightly News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.